Netflix has been getting into a little bit of a, a tissy fit with uh, most movie theaters. It's more the movie theaters are upset with Netflix than Netflix is upset with the movie theaters. But the, the whole spat has started over. Netflix is trying to do this model where they encourage people to subscribe, saying not only are you going to get great original TV shows, which they've been doing awesome for the past three years, but also that they're going to start offering people more premium movies. So it's not just going to be a, a dying ground, per se, for older movies, movies that have been out for a year and a half, two years, and then they finally, after everybody's seen them five times in different ways, they finally hit, hit Netflix. Netflix wants to be a little bit more ahead of the curve. Now, this really started all started when they started producing a movie uh, called, uh, what is it called? Beasts of No Nations. And this movie is supposed to be really, really good. It's got Idris Elba in it. I have not seen it as of yet, but I will watch it pretty soon because it's on Netflix. Um, but it's also Don't getting... Have the same time restrictions as the theaters, just putting it yeah. out there. Hey, yeah, I it does it It's true. And then it's also being released in some theaters, I believe New York, LA, Washington, you know, the bigger metropolitan areas where a lot of the smaller movies, a lot of these Oscar bait movies tend to get released in those certain areas. They don't draw as much box office, but they do get a little bit of a following. And it is always nice to say, hey, I saw that movie in theaters before everybody else did. Yeah. So this is upsetting movie theaters because they believe this is encroaching on their territory. Uh, so you've had a bunch of movie theaters actually say, we refuse to screen this movie. Uh, I believe AMC, uh, Regal, all these. I could be wrong on who is banned them, but there's a lot of movie theaters, like eight different big chains. So the big companies. The, the big, big chains company. have said, yeah, we're, we're not going to put these movies out there because this is going to infringe on our territory. They're worried that instead of you know going to see it in the theaters, you'll just be like, hey, it's on Netflix. I'm just going to stay home. And I kind of understand why they're, where they're coming from, <laughs> but I also kind of understand where Netflix is coming from. This movie is also so good, apparently. A lot of people have said it's probably going to get nominated for an Oscar and for an Emmy because of how good it is. And that's only possible because it's getting released in theaters, also simultaneously getting released on a streaming service, which still is considered TV, which it should be. Yeah, um, hasn't this happened before where something had limited release in theaters, but also went streaming, not necessarily to a subscription service, but a, didn't, um, but another streaming service simultaneously. Like, didn't that happen with the... Um, well, I remember years the back. Maybe, or something like that? Well, yeah, like four or five years ago, maybe, when on-demand just became everybody just... That was the standard. You had some sort of on-demand on your TV no matter what. Uh, when that became standard, I do remember them releasing, like, a movie package. I can't remember what movie they did it with, but it was a couple... Where you, I think it might have been one of them was the Pirates, one of the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. I could be wrong on that, but they let you. It was available on demand, pretty much pay per view, the same time it was available in the theaters. Now the catch was you had to pay seventy dollars to watch this movie or more as a pay per view, whereas you could have just gone to the theaters and watched it for a lot less. And so that was kind of the catch there. That's why that really didn't catch on, and most people didn't really participate in that just because it's kind of ridiculous. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, think about it, paying $70 for it. Now, I guess if you were going to get like a kid's movie and it was something you were planning on taking your whole family to and everything like that, you might save a little money this way by That's sitting true. at home and watching if it. it allowed but again, you if it's going to be an event money. thing, you really want to go to the movie theater. If it's an event, you know, you want to have the whole experience. Well, so. no, if it's a kid's movie, and depending on the age of your kids and how much of a stress it is you actually might want to just do it at home yeah but if you're like here. hey i'm gonna take you to the movies as a street you know it's like i can watch sports at home and that's my preferred way of watching sports but going to the game is a treat from time to time you know it it's is, a different atmosphere but, and it's a different environment but i'll so. tell you as someone with children sometimes you'd rather just deal with it at home than deal with the kids Certainly. running around no no like i said i understand but if you're if you're gonna say hey we're gonna have a movie party we're gonna take all your friends to a movie it's a lot different than having everybody just come to your house yeah. than actually going to the movie unless you have a really nice uh, theater setup at your house brendan do you have a really nice theater setup at your house i do not but and neither do i neither I do i not. so let's stop arguing this point <laughs> all right that's not what we were getting into so we have Netflix on one side and we have movie theaters on the other of this, the great debate on which way movies should go. And I'm kind of split between both sides. Number one, I understand the theaters are saying that, hey, this is how we make our money. This is going to really encroach on what we do to put out a product. 
But then on the other side, you have Netflix saying, well, this is the way we want to attract more people. Nobody's upset with HBO doing a similar thing, which I believe they have with a movie that, you know, released on its on HBO and in theaters from time to time. So I, I just I don't know where this is going to go. I do the movie theaters have enough power at this point to block Netflix from doing something like this. And if they don't, is this going to have we're going to see the same thing from sites like Amazon Prime, which are already churning out their own TV shows, which have been pretty solid, too. Or Hulu or something like that. I, I don't know, Brennan. Which way do you think this is going? Honestly, I think, I think the it's clear they can't really. What, what are they going to do about it? I think it's hurting. It's going to hurt the theaters more for them to not participate than it is going to hurt uh, Netflix at this point, because theaters are already. I I was under the impression uh, starting to struggle because people don't want to see a lot of movies. People are. Like they keep saying that people are pirating movies. Well, this is a way to make it so that people people don't need to pirate for one thing. Um, but either way, yeah, they're struggling already. Why would you keep out a product that you can get? Like this isn't you not serving it is not helping the theaters. It's just taking even if they think that now the audience is split. Well, now you're going to get no audience from this movie yeah. if they think. If yeah, they think that it's going to be split so much that they're not going, to, it's not going to be worth it for them to take up a theater. I can understand that if it's just a practical thing uh, of, hey, we don't think there's going to be enough people going to see it in our theaters. And um, that has been one of the arguments that they brought up, and I, I did read about that, but I was kind of like, ah, <laughs> like that's like the. I think that they that like, at um, least that the uh, bigger theaters. It won't be dedicated, of... as many dedicated screens. I mean, if you look at yeah. some of the bigger theaters, like the the 10, 12, yeah. 24 theater, theaters, you know, they'll dedicate three or four screens to one movie so that they can show a lot of showings, whereas only one to a littler movie. So maybe this will relegate some of those littler mm. movies anyway out, out of the theater because, yeah. hey, it's not even going to drive enough for and, just to show those. And you know, there's always, uh, towards the end of a lifespan, there's always a bunch of... Um, uh, movies at the bigger theaters that are, have just been lingering on and don't have many showings and don't have anyone in them anyway, they mm -hmm. they, they can spare one of those. They're probably not going to lose out if they have a week or you know at least try it out for a week or two weeks or, or whatever, a small run with this movie. They'll probably feel enough to make it worth it. Um, at least for a short time. And then they you know, they are they, it's not like they have to... Um, continue showing it movie theaters already have setups where if something's not showing well they just reduce the amount of show times it has and just get rid of it quickly yeah i mean movies can get bounced out like big flops like fantastic four i think that was in theaters a total of like two weeks <laughs> you know and then it got bounced out of every theater because they're like this is garbage let's get rid of it and they can say ahead of time that they're only going to keep this for two weeks or whatever, and then they'll probably really fill up what limited was... Limited time engagement, yeah. yeah they, you hear that all the time, limited time engagement. Check your theater listings, you know, stuff like that. So, I, I, it will pull away a little bit from movie theaters, but I don't think as drastically as movie theaters think. Um, this is really, in my opinion, just Netflix's way of grabbing a big, more, bigger market share out there. If they can get a movie into theaters, great. If it doesn't do great in theaters, well, hey, maybe it'll attract a couple extra subscribers, which their subscriber base is blowing up still. Yeah. Uh, it's bigger in Europe. Uh, other countries is really now where it's starting to catch on. I think almost everybody in America at least has it or has access to somebody else's password. So, um, yeah, I think this is it, just already another, pretty big. I think this is our, just another case of a, a, another sector of the entertainment industry um, just scared of changes to the industry due to subscription services like Netflix. Yeah. Like we saw it with TV. And, and HBO with, is getting yeah. bigger. We see so, it with um, movies, uh, movie production companies uh, worried about their DVD sales and such because of Netflix. And maybe it has hurt them, but it's kind of at the point of you need to start, uh, start getting on board because things are changing. Uh, it, resistance is futile. It, it's it's not yeah. going to help. So they're the Borg. So you're saying Netflix is the Borg, and movie theaters better assimilate. It's the it's the new technology coming on. And, okay. <laughs> and take so the Borg are coming. Watch out, movie theaters. Netflix is the Borg. Yeah. It is happening as we speak. Yeah, but I'll say too, like this, it, with this setup, it's just like um, 
uh, I was reading today that I guess Nielsen ratings and some of the cable companies are talking about they're, they're hoping that um, the cord cutting, uh, you know, getting rid of your cable subscription is going to go away. Um, even though there's all the subscription services, that's, it's just a trend. And as uh, the millennials get older and have kids, they're going to start paying more for TV that they don't care about anymore. Mm-hmm. That, that's, that's just, uh, wish, very wishful thinking or deceiving themselves. Same thing might be happening with, with movie theaters. They might be hurting because of the availability of good movies, even if they're older and now new movies, from these subscription services, it really might hurt their industry, but they kind of need to accept that and get on board. Cause I, I don't see it reversing. I, I yeah, it, the, we might find it go to something else altogether, but I don't see it reversing. So, but, so what do you think? Is this a, you know, an opportunity for movie theaters to adapt to survive or is Netflix just going to take over and they are the Borg. So get ready to be part of the United States of Netflix going to happen <laughs> our netflix overlords are on their way but hit us up <laughs> let us know what you think comments down below of course at what's my face on twitter google plus and facebook always good ways getting a hold of us